welcome to the Pentecostal Church of Atascacita. I know it might be empty in here, but we're going to worship God with all that we have. And I want to do something a little different. We're not just going to pray, but we're just going to praise and worship God for this first 20 seconds before we start this song. Who believes that God is not dead? He's here with us, going through this and helping us and strengthening us. And this first song we're going to sing is called God's Not Dead. But before this, come on, let's give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you for all that you've done for us, God. Thank you, God, for giving us strength to get through this together, Lord Jesus. I pray for each person, Lord Jesus, in their homes, God. Hallelujah. We thank you and we give you praise, Lord Jesus. We love you and we praise you, God, and we're going to worship you with all that we have, Lord Jesus. Everybody worship with us. Come on, clap your hands loud. Sing that with me. Let heaven roar and fire fall. Come shake the ground with the sound of revival. As loud as you can. Let heaven roar and fire fall. Come shake the ground with the sound of revival. Shout it as loud as you can in your 
your homes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you and praise you. We thank you so much, Lord, for your presence and for your spirit. I thank you, Lord God, for your strength for helping us. We give you praise. We look to you, Lord, for guidance. We look to you, Lord God, for help and for strength. Lord, we thank you for going before us and being our rear guard. We stand upon you, Lord. We stand upon your word. We thank you for your presence. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord to everyone. I want to say blessings unto you, to your families, all of you that are watching live stream. Thank you for joining in with us here at the Pentecostal Church of Atascacita. And I just want to say God bless each and every one of you. Amen. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for taking out the time to worship the Lord with us. I encourage you to gather your family around to make this a very special time of worship and of praise and, and allow the presence of the Lord to fill your home, to fill your house, to fill your heart wherever you are right now. Thank you for tuning in. We have the miracle opportunities, people that are in need of miracles, people that are in need of comfort, and we need to bring them before the Lord. I ask that you would help me to pray for them and also remember the McNew family. Pray for the McNew family. Speak miracles into that family right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we love you and praise you. And we pray, Lord God, that your comfort and peace would be upon those that have lost loved ones. I pray, Lord God, for healing virtue and power to flow unto those that are sick. We pray for a miracle to come into their bodies, into their mind, into their spirit, unto their soul. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that a special peace will come upon every heart, would come into every home and upon every family. Lord God, we pray for your mighty hand to be upon all of us. Lord, we pray for our nation. We pray for our communities. We pray for our neighbors. We pray, Lord God, for this world. We pray, dear Lord God, for you to bring a mighty blessing upon us. Lord, we come against this infection, the, the virus, the plague that has come upon the bodies of people. And in the name of Jesus, we speak victory. We claim healing. We claim protection. We claim deliverance in the wonderful and holy name. Come on, help me worship the Lord right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Call upon the name of Jesus right there wherever you are. Call upon the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Open up your mouth. Lift up your heart and call upon the name that is above every name. He is above all sickness and disease. He is above every problem. The name of Jesus, our help is in the Lord and we give you praise. We give you glory, Lord. We give you honor, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that today somebody is going to receive a miracle. Today, Lord God, somebody is going to receive a good report, a good news. We pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Amen. I want to take out a few moments right now. In a minute, they're going to play some music, but I want to give you the opportunity to give, to give in your offering and in your tithes. There you'll see upon the screen in front of you or your iPhone or iPad or computer or whatever you're watching through. There are three ways to give. One of them is mobile. You can download an app. It's called Secure Give. Go to the app store. You download this app called Secure Give. You will set up your account. They receive credit cards and debit cards. And then you go and find the church in the state of Texas. 
Go look for the Pentecostal Church of Atascacita, and then you will be able to enter into the Secure Give. It's a very user-friendly way of giving. So I encourage you to do that. Also, you can go to the website. You'll see the website there in front of you, and you can enter into that. You will find the Donate tab. There's two Donate tabs, but I encourage you to go to the Secure Give because that is the structure we're really pointing toward. And uh, go to the Donate, Secure Give, and, and you can go in to Secure Give from the website there. Also, you can mail, put in the mail a check, send it to our church address, or if you want to come by the address, you will find a mailbox by the church van on the southwest corner of the building, and there you can put it inside there. But I want to take out a few moments of time right now, and I encourage you to give, just like if you were at the house of the Lord right now with us. And so right now, take out the time while they play the music and go and give of the tithe and the offering and be a blessing to this church and to the kingdom of God. And let's just worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Lord, we thank you for the provisions. Thank you for supplying needs for your people. Thank you, Lord, for making a way. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you, Lord, for, for all of the jobs, all of the companies. Thank you, Lord God. We have food on our tables. That we have a home we can go to. Thank you, Lord, for our vehicles. Thank you, Lord, for all of the nice things that we have. We give you praise and glory and honor. And we give you the credit for it all. Lord, it is you who takes care of your people. We stand upon your word. We give as your word instructs us the tithe, the offering. We stand in faith. We live by faith. And I thank you, Lord, because we are standing upon a solid rock. The light of the world, of you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you Hope of a life spent with you Come on, you know it Here I am to worship Here I am to bow down Here I am to say that You're my God you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. King of all days, oh so highly exalted.
it calls to see my sin upon that cross. I never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross. And I Come on, sing it in your homes. Everybody knows the words. You all together love me, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Come on, one last time. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together worthy, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Hallelujah. Lord, right now, if you don't mind, just close your eyes with me. Shut everything else out of your mind. All of your worries and all of your fears and anxieties, push them to the side. Turn off all of the distractions. Lord, we bind together with your church body. We bind together, Lord, in a very unique place worshiping in our homes worshiping in our cars worshiping somewhere outside in the yard perhaps that we are together in the wonderful and holy name of Jesus and I pray that you would take what we have and you would use it for your glory the prayers each and every person that you would use them in a mighty way to help us to feel the power of the Almighty God as it is moving through each and every one of us, flowing out of us. For you said, out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. And Lord, I believe it is flowing to the north and the south and the east and the West. I believe that it's flowing out of every vessel and every temple, for we are the temple of God. We are filled with your Spirit. I pray, Lord God, that there be a mighty, mighty, mighty deliverance in our land. In Jesus' name, and everybody, if you'll say it with me, Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, one more time, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the light that shines in the darkness. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Amen. Again, I want to welcome each and every one of you. Thank you for coming and worshiping the Lord with us, the Pentecostal Church of Atascacita. And I want to say thank you to our our small group that is here. I have two people in the sound booth. I have two musicians back here behind me and my wife over here in the amen corner and I thank God for her support I can hear her saying amen I can hear her praying in the Holy Ghost and amen we are reaching for every little bit of strength we can get binding together amen and believing for great things in God this is a wonderful day to be serving the Lord it's the greatest thing that's going on right now Worshiping and serving the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We don't know what tomorrow brings. We don't know what next week's going to bring. But I do know right now, 
We are in the presence of the Lord and the mercy of the Lord is here. And thank God for that. Thank the Lord. Why don't we just thank him one more time? Lord, we praise you and thank you. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving. And we enter into your courts with praise in our heart. In the name of Jesus, praise God. Amen. If you'll turn with me there in the Word of God, I hope that you have Bibles that are pulled out. Amen. Thank God for our electronics. And I know you have Bible on the phone and computer and all of those things. But I encourage you in, in these times that we're in more than ever to reach to that Bible. Go find that Bible in your house and dust it off and bring it out. And all of the family read the Scriptures together. Amen. I'm going to read right now from Genesis chapter 28, and I'll be reading verse 16 and verse 17. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid, and he said, How dreadful is this place. That word dreadful in King James translation. It actually means how awesome. How awesome. How awesome is the Lord in this place. This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. I want to talk to you on this subject, God's awesome place. God's awesome place. One more time, right there in your house, lift up your hands. You're going to receive from the Lord today. You're going to receive a word from the Lord into your heart and into your spirit. And it's going to lay to rest the storm. It's going to lay to rest the storm that's raging in your spirit and in your mind. Lord, we thank you for your word in your mighty and wonderful name. And everybody say in Jesus' name, God bless you. In the Old Testament, there was a time when Jacob was in great despair. There was worry that was upon him. He had a lot of stress that he was dealing with. There was a lot of anxiety that was dominating his mind. And in Genesis chapter 28, verse 10, and I'm reading these few scriptures in the NIV, New International Version, when he reached a certain place, I'm sorry, I'm verse 11 right now. When he reached a certain place, he stopped for the night because the sun had set. And taking one of the stones there, he put it under his head, and he laid down to sleep. And he had a dream in which he saw a stairway resting on the earth, when its top reaching to heaven. And the angels of God were ascending and descending. Genesis 28, verse 16. And when Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, surely the Lord is in this place And I was not aware of it. He was afraid. And he said, how awesome is this place. For this is none other than the house of God. This place is the gate of heaven. Genesis 28 verse 20. And then Jacob made a vow. And he said, if God will be with me. And he will watch over me on this journey that I am taking and will give me food to eat, clothes to wear, so that I return safely to my father's house. Then the Lord will be my God. I am speaking right now into your heart. The word of God is speaking into your home. That place where you are right now, it is the house of God. That place where you are right now, it is the gateway unto heaven. 
right there where you are. You need to believe with all of your heart that the power of God is right there with you. Praise God. Praise God. There is a place where the Word of God, it talks about. It's called an awesome place. It is identified as a place in God. There is a special place that we can live. There is a special place in God where we can experience the great things of God and the deep things of God. We can experience those mighty things of God. It is an awesome place. It is a glorious place. It is identified throughout the Word of God as the secret place. Psalms 25 and verse 14, it says, The secret of the Lord, it is with them that fear Him. And He will show them His covenant. If you will notice those last six words, He will show them His covenant. He will show them the power of His Word. He will show them the power of His promises. It means that He will cause them to know His covenant. It means that He will cause you to understand the great riches and the great provision that is in His Word. God will show you His gracious provision that is in His covenant. He will let you see it. Why don't you put your hands together with me right now? Come on. I want you to step into the Word of God with me in a way like you have never done before. I want you to let your faith walk in a way that it has never walked before. Come on. You need to live in the power and miracles of God right now. You need to live in the power and in the miracles of God right now. And this is the way you do it. There is an awesome place in God. There is a secret place where God reveals Himself. A place where He shows up with His might and with His power. It's the secret place where God shows Himself. Uh, where God God shows His glory. It's a place where angels are ascending and descending. I want you to look in your house, in your faith and in your imagination. Look in the north corner and the south corner and the east corner and the west corner. There are angels that are there with you. There are angels that are around you. There are angels that is in that place. It is the place where the glory of the Lord is hallelujah praise God when I was a child I was not a really really small child but yet I was very young and I remember in my childhood that two doors down not the house beside me but the one beside that one there was a place that we called it our secret place. Only two other friends of mine knew about this place. It was a house that had been abandoned. And we knew that we could enter into that house in a, a secret way. And inside that attic of that house, there was a hole that would go up onto the roof of that house. And we realized that we could go into this house and we could go up the ladder into the attic and then we could easily enter into the roof of that home and then we would be on the roof and and that was a very special place for us three kids mom didn't know about it dad didn't know about it only us three and every now and then we would join up and we would go to that secret place and we would get on that house and there were things there that others didn't know about and one of those things was you could leap into the air off of that roof 
and you would land upon a big limb. And then your weight would cause that limb to come down and stop before you actually hit the ground. And then you could let go. And that was a special place, a secret place. It was our hideout. It was a place where we enjoyed many hours of having fun, playing Superman and Batman and jumping and flying through the air. And then we could grab a limb and that limb would lower us down and and set us upon the ground. God has a secret place. It's a special place. It's an awesome place. It's a place of peace, and I promise you, it gives peace unto my spirit, and it'll give peace to you. There will be something inside of you that will help you walk upon all of those other things that are around you. Psalms 31 and 19 says, Oh, how great is thy goodness which thou hast laid upon or laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of your presence from the pride of man. You will keep them secretly in a pavilion. Thank God that there is a place. There is a place in God you can go to in faith. I can go to in faith. We can gather together in the spirit of the almighty God and we can go into this special place uh, where the Lord says I'm going to hide you uh, in my presence Uh, I am going to show you things Uh, I'm going to show you the riches of my word Uh, I'm going to show you the riches uh, of my covenant read with me in Isaiah 45 and 3 and I will give thee the treasures of darkness And hidden riches of secret places. That you may know that I am the Lord which calls thee by your name. I am the God of Israel. There is an awesome, awesome treasure that the Lord is speaking about in his word. There are awesome treasures and there are riches in dark places. There are riches in hidden places. There are riches that are underground and in caves and in mountains that your eyes have never seen and that my eyes have never seen. There are treasures all around and we know, we all know this world understands the treasure in that oil that is under this ground. There are treasures of coal. There are treasures of gold and silver and diamonds and precious gems, and precious stones. God is speaking about that. He is saying He will give you the hidden treasures that are in His secret places. The hidden treasures that eyes don't see, that ears don't hear about, but you can receive them. You can partake of them. There is a secret place. Let's take a moment and worship the Lord again. Come on. Hallelujah. This is about you knowing that you are at the house of God right there in your house. This is about you knowing there are angels ascending and descending right there wherever you are right now. As we journey there in faith. As we journey there in the word of God. As we go there closing out the things of this world. The greatest need today is to be in the awesome place of the Almighty God. And you know that. That's more important than anything else in this world. Being in the presence of God, knowing that we are in the Word of God and that we are going to be provided for God's way. Enter into that secret place. Enter into the place of the Most High God. Enter into that awesome place in the Spirit of God. When you go to the New Testament, after the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, Ghost. Uh, in the book of Acts, when you read about them receiving the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues uh, as the Spirit gives them the utterance, uh, then you go to the First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, and it says, And it is written, The eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love Him. But God hath revealed them unto us. By His Spirit. For the Spirit searches 
all things Yea, the deep things of God. Why don't we shut out everything else around us right now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Call upon the name of the Lord right now with me. Hallelujah. Let the presence of the Spirit of God. If you have not received the Holy Ghost like in the book of Acts, you need to receive it. Do not ignore the book of Acts. Go to it and understand. Understand the place that God has designed for you and I to live in the spirit of the Almighty God, to be filled with His Spirit. And greater is He that is in us than He that is in this world. Take the spiritual journey with me tonight. Take a spiritual journey in faith with me tonight. Take a spiritual journey journey in the spirit of God Psalms 27 and 5 for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret of his tabernacle he shall hide me and he will set me upon a rock one that's unmovable the word of the living God He said it in his word. The storms are going to come. The rains are going to fall. And the man that builds his house upon the sand, it's going to bring it down. But they that are built upon a rock, their house will stand. And he's speaking of his word. They that stand solidly upon the word of the Lord. I want you just to use your imagination and imagine with me right now a big umbrella that is over you right now. And if it was pouring down raining, you would be in a dry place. You would be under this protection, this safety. Psalms 91 and 1, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, the secret place, the place that we can live. That covering is greater than state farm insurance. It's greater than progressive. It's greater than all state. It's greater than anything this world can offer you, I promise you. But here's the thing, as I'm bringing this toward an end, I want you to understand this because it is very important. We hear a lot of messages about living for God and serving God. But I want you to understand something about the promises of God, about the treasures of God, about the protection of God, about the covering of God. I want you to understand something very important about this awesome place that I'm preaching about right now. It is for those who fear the Lord. It is for those who fear the Lord. Psalms 145 and 19, he will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He will hear their cry and he will save them. Psalms 31 and 19, oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord encamps round about them that fear him, and he delivers them. Psalms 34 and 9, Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want in them that fear him. And Psalms 128 and 1, Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You will eat the fruit of of your labor blessings and prosperity will be yours I want you to understand the Word of God and how important it is for you to make up your mind right now that you are going to serve the Lord and you're going to give him all of your heart soul mind and strength that you will repent of your sinful ways things that you've been doing, ways that you have been living that has been unpleasing in the eyes of God. It is very important. God gave Moses specific instructions of everything whenever it comes to constructing 
the tabernacle in the wilderness. But when Moses did exactly the way God commanded, then there was a cloud that covered the tabernacle. The glory of the Lord covered the tabernacle. When everything was done, properly then the Lord revealed his glory the Lord revealed his provision if you are going to enjoy the covering of God it is very important that we follow the directions of God it is very important to understand the secret place of the most high God it is reserved for those that fear the Lord you can't just do it any old way you want to We can't just live any old way we want to. We can't treat the house of God just any old way that we want to. We must get back to the fear of the Lord. I'm going to say that again because there are many people that are watching. And you are going to have to depend on what I'm preaching right now. You're going to have to depend on the Word of God. And you need that covering. And you need that help and that safety. We must get back to the fear of the Lord. The United States of America must get back to the fear of the Lord. The United States of America, the fear of the Lord has to do with how we reverence and how we respect the things of God. It has to do with our heart and the way that we look at the things of God. We've got to get back to the fear of the Lord. Many times throughout the Word of God, He calls for His people turn back to him Jeremiah 3 and 20 surely as a wife treacherously departs from her husband so have ye dealt treacherously with me O house of Israel saith the Lord a voice was heard upon the high places weeping and supplications of the children of Israel for they have perverted my way and their way They have forgotten the Lord their God. Return you backsliding children, and I will heal your backslidings. God is calling for every one of us to come back to Him. Come back to that place with a renewed hunger and a renewed thirst for a relationship with God. God is calling us to turn back from our backslidden ways. God is calling us to turn back from a coldness and a distancing that we put up from the presence of God. Hallelujah. We've made too many idols out of the things of this world. And I as a pastor have been troubled for many years trying to pastor in this generation competing against all of the things that people have put priority in their lives the Lord has given us one more chance to get back to him one more opportunity to awaken he has shown us how quickly everything that people have put above God in worshiping God has touched it and it has come to a halt The gambling casinos shut down. Going out to eat at the restaurants shut down. The bars and the clubs shut down. Sports arenas shut down. The concerts where we run after those famous names and famous singers shut down. Celebrities are shut down. Pleasures, vacations, economy. The finances has been touched and shut down. Hollywood has been touched and shut down. There are things that have become greater in the eyes of people that they have looked to and you have relied on. And it's become idols in our lives. And God is saying, turn back unto Him. Turn back unto Him. Get back in that awesome place with Him. 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, If my people, which are called by my name, 
shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land my eyes shall be open my ears will attend unto the prayer that is made in this place Psalms 80 and 3 let this be your prayer turn us again O God and cause thy face to shine and we shall be saved Psalms 80 and verse 7 turn us again O God of hosts and cause thy face to shine and we shall be saved Psalms 80 and 19 turn us again O Lord God of hosts cause thy face to shine shall be saved I ask you the place wherever you are please take out this time get into that awesome place with God turn from the sins the things that we have made idols of And ask God to shine His face upon you. Shine His glory upon you. Nehemiah 1 and 9, And if you return to me and obey my commandments, then even if your exiled people are at the farthest horizon, I will gather them from there, and I will bring them to the place I have chosen as a dwelling place for my name. In the last scripture, Psalms 91 and verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress and my God, and in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler, and thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. I'm asking you as they begin to sing, and then let it continue. As we conclude this service, we're going to sing for just a moment. We're going to pray together. But when we come to the end, I ask that you would continue. Continue praying with your family. Continue praying with your children. Continue praying with those that are around you. I want to hear about these miracles that we read about in the Word of God. I want to hear about these testimonies about what God is doing for His people that are in that awesome place where the angels are ascending and descending. It is coming to your house right now. Right where you are right now. Come on. Let's let the power of the Holy Ghost fill you and fill you your house. Life. Call unto the Lord right you now. Turn unto Him. You bring the name of Jesus. To the darkness Hallelujah. you give That's it. Pray. You restore Pray together. Every Maybe you're all by yourself. That is broken. Pray. Open your mouth. Don't stay reserved. Great Don't close up. You, Open up. Let the presence and the power of God begin to flow it's through. It's your breath. Come on, you're going to know. Because the most unruly so member of your body is your tongue. Pray. What it says in the Word of God. When it begins flowing in the presence and the power of God, you begin to speak in a heavenly language and the power of God. Every part of you has been released into His hands. In the name of Jesus. Lord, right there. You give healing. That person that's troubled right now because they're feeling you bring symptoms. It's troubling their mind. You give feeling things in their you body. Restore every heart raging, that is raging against their health. And great things 
things in their mind. Raging. Worry about the finances. So we pray. Hallelujah, Lord. Fill the earth with your lungs. Lord, turn the people back to you that were here. That will respond. That will turn back to you. Lord, I pray. The blessings of the Lord. The north, the south, the east, and the west. The glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. You hear the heart that's crying out to you. You see that one that is in tears right now. You see the one that is desperate. You see that one. Lord God, that's saying, forgive them for their sin. Fill them with your peace. Holy presence coming to their life. The, earth the healing of the world, the riches that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Lord God, you said, We that are under the shadow of the Almighty, we will, we will experience treasures and the riches that are in the Word of God. I've revealed them. Now your spirit. Power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord God, that our children will know you. They will really have a relationship with you and know you. They will know you. They will know what it means to walk by the power of God. They will know what it means for God to show up and provide and make way. You will part the water, the red seas. In the name of Jesus, we command it to leave. So we pour our praise. In the name of Jesus, we speak with new tongues. And in the name of Jesus, we believe the dead can be raised again. In the name of Jesus, that's the promise of the Word of God. You shall lay your hands upon the sick and they recover. You shall speak with new tongues. You shall cast out devils. Come on, every demon has to flee your house. Speak it in the name of Jesus. Speak it under the anointing power of the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost be on you and in you and then speak it by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, use it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Demons have to flee. Sickness has to flee. The plague has to go. Financial things that want to ravage us and take away from us the blessings of God has to be so we pour our praise we pour our in the name of Jesus be your yes Lord in yes da, 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 da. So come on I'm helping you I want to help create an atmosphere for you I don't want you to feel all alone in that house I want to create an atmosphere this atmosphere that I'm preaching about right there where you are you can feel the power of God wave your hands open up your mouth worship the king worship him make him the king of all kings in your life hallelujah above everything else oh we turn to you we turn to you we turn from our wicked ways we turn from our sinful ways we turn from our idols Lord let your faith shine upon us your faith shine upon us again and save us hallelujah hallelujah come on this house if you've not been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ please send us a message send on our website send us an email I want to baptize you I want you to be in this covenant if you've not received the Holy Ghost like the Bible says go to the book of Acts read the second chapter read about the Holy Ghost Go to Acts 2, 38. Listen to the message of salvation. Repent and be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins. You 
shall receive the Holy Ghost. You must be born of the water and of the Spirit to enter into the kingdom of God. God has shined upon us His mercy. He's given us another opportunity. It's the wake-up call. It is the wake-up cry. I'm not just saying it because I feel it, but when I talk to my elders, I talk to them, and we all are saying the same thing. God has given us another opportunity for America to wake up and come back unto that awesome place. God bless you. Please continue praying there in your house. And enjoy the presence of the Lord. Enjoy the joy of the Lord. You will feel it, and it will be a joy that will rise up inside of you as you begin feeling strength and anointing and healing and the power of God. This is the conclusion of the service that's live streaming. Peace be unto all of you, and God bless you. In Jesus' name. Hi, this is Pastor Kevin Martin, and I just want to thank you all for joining us today, tuning in and being a part of our service. We hope that it was a blessing to you and that you were uplifted and encouraged and felt the presence of the Lord. If you would like to know more about our church, please join us at www.atascacitaupc.com and you will find all of the ministries. You will find pictures where you could take a journey and see everything that's been going on at the Pentecostal Church of Atascacita. And uh, we hope that you join us again very soon. God bless you.